what a beautiful sight to be given in the morning. Mum has just come and blessed me with a bacon roll and tomato sauce. I'm saying roll, bacon sandwich. And I'm just editing yesterday's vlog. This is heaven. Hey everyone, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So as you can see, I'm back at my dressing table in the exact same position I was yesterday because I am going to be taking out my plaits again. Yesterday, well, last night I washed my hair and this means my hair is probably now going to go crazy because I plaited it. But that is what I wanted because I'm filming a video today and I needed my hair to last me all day. So fingers crossed. This is actually going to last and look better than yesterday because yesterday it went really, really frizzy. Okay, I mean, it's a little bit wet still, but it looks better. So today it is going to be a snow day because yet again, we have been snowed in and we're forecast from three o'clock onwards snow right up until Saturday evening. So that's like over 24 hours worth of snow. So God knows what it's actually going to be like. So we're pretty much going to be stuck in the house. So I am just going to be filming a video today. I can only film one video which is annoying because I'm waiting for some stuff to arrive so I can film the second video and I'm hoping that it's going to arrive tomorrow but the snow makes everything very unpredictable so I have no idea. I'm actually having to pre-film my videos because on well either Monday or most likely Tuesday because of the weather I'm going down to SAFs to stay until Friday so I'm just kind of like pre-filming my videos and stuff so I'm organised so I've done Sunday's video but I need to do Wednesdays and next Sundays so I'm feeling pretty good that's the plan for today. I'm just going to sit and do my hair right now and I'm absolutely freezing but I really really crave a crispy cream or crispy creme however you like to say it I know I say some things really weird I'm really craving one of their donuts and I'm like do I brave it and walk to Tesco before it starts to snow or do I not I have sorted out my hair now and as you can see I've got it in this little bun on top I am now going to film a video but I don't want you guys to have any idea of the video that I'm going to film so I will still have no makeup on when you next see me I will still probably look exactly the same other than the fact that my top will be changed just because I really want this video to be really really good and I want nobody to have any hints and I think it's going to be so good like it's so so funny so that is what I'm going to do right now mum was just saying that she really wants to go out and same to be honest like I really want to go out just because it's like I'm getting bored really easily like because I'm always in the house I just really want to go out so fingers crossed even though there is loads of snow we might be able to go out somewhere. Yay I have finished filming I've now redone my makeup and I am ready to go out so we're not really going to go out like go out go out we're just going to pop to Waitrose because mum gets a free coffee and we're just going to have like a coffee and a cake and just sit in the car at least it just gets us out for a little while and you know it's better than being stuck in the house because it has actually started snowing again. I'm also just eating a chocolate cookie because I'm addicted to double chocolate cookies right now. Normally I prefer just like single milk chocolate but the double chocolates are just doing it for me. That's pretty much all I've got to update you on. I haven't really done much else other than film and I've been filming for like two hours so it's a really good video. It's a little bit out of focus which really annoys me but hopefully it will be okay once I've like colour corrected it and stuff. I decided to take my makeup off and just put my glasses on and have a bit of a natural day today as the makeup was just really irritating my face and if I'm going to be going out in the snow even though I'm only like sitting in the car I just want to go without any makeup on so in a minute I'm going to moisturise my face. I used the T-Zone face wash and the scrub last night. I think it's really good. My skin feels really soft. I've come out in a spot like in the corner of my nose which I'm going to put some Mario Badescu drying lotion on in a minute so hopefully that will go down but other than that, that, I think it's really good obviously it's going to take a few weeks to work so I'll keep giving you updates but on like a first hand you know try like my skin feels smooth I was going to tell you guys something and I don't remember what I was going to tell you and that's the most annoying thing in the world because I feel like I was really excited to say it and now I have no idea whatsoever what I was going to say. This is exactly how I'm going to go out today. I'm going to leave my hair like this. I've got a bodysuit on and I've kept my pyjama bottoms on and I'm literally going to wrap my robe on me, then my coat again, and then I'm not going to get out the car because I don't know if you guys can see. As you know, you can't see, but I'll show you. It's snowing again. I don't know how much you guys can see, but... It's coming like this again, like literally had nothing on it like two minutes ago. Let's get my coat on. Where can I put you guys so you can see me? I will put you just there and I'm gonna, where's my robe gone? Oh, okay, maybe we won't go with my robe today. Maybe we'll just go with my coat just so I actually do see one. Now, you know what, I'm gonna wear this coat 
because I haven't worn this in so long and I actually really like it still. This is my Fina one and it's really, really warm. So let's pop this on. I'm going to put a scarf on as well because I think I'm going to be freezing. And we're off. Do not tell me this is Which not is a look. Got my wellies on, got my pyjamas on. It's chucking it down and I'm loving life again. Although I look like an egg, so not getting out of the car, but um feeling this look don't know about you mum has come back to the car and she has got me a gingerbread man from the waitrose bakery which i literally love so much let me spin it around yeah it's so so cute mum also picked me up a bag of galaxy counters because it is the survival of the fittest final tonight and i needed a snack while i'm watching it you know atticus what are you doing you're unpacking the shop okay Pancake day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pancake day tomorrow. We have come down and we are making dinner. Oh, it's all lit up blue because of the kettle and those flowers. Yesterday, when Mum went to Tesco, she did put on her Instagram. The, she, how much did you get these ones for? They were fifty pence, not down from five pounds. And then the ones over here. And then these were a pound, not down from ten pounds. Yeah, literally because the shop so was bare beautiful. and because of the weather, nobody could get them, so they knocked all their flowers down. So, Mum got those, and we've got some pasta in here. We're going to pour some water in. We've got garlic bread to get. Atticus is dressing up as a chef in favour of today's cooking. Should we show the camera? Oh, you look so cute. Give everybody an outfit of the day. What have you got on? Your apron? Yeah. Your hat? Yeah. Yeah? You excited? Uh, what you... The apron is on so I learned how to get on my clothes. Exactly. And my hat is on so I learned how to get on my hair. Right, exactly. Right We've got a creamy mushroom tomato sauce and it smells so good. I just got the call that dinner is ready. Is it on the table? Oh, yes. I'm buzzing. Oh my god, I'm so hungry and that looks so good. I just finished my dinner and that was so, so good. And I just uploaded yesterday's vlog and everybody's saying that they want an update on my bullet journal. So I haven't really done that much, but I'm going to spend the next hour or so doing it. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of this vlog. I know loads of you guys are going to be really disappointed, but I wasn't happy like with how this page turned out. So I have actually decided to start it again because I just wasn't happy with it at all. I never finished off February just because I ran out of time to do it. And obviously it's now March. March. so I am going to start off March as it's only March 2nd today and I'm going to do it right now so I'm going to make this my title page and then I'm going to make this like an overview page and then I'm going to do like a happiness planner a health planner a money tracker whatever you want to call it so I will start lining them out and then I can show you guys what I decide to do on it I still don't know what theme I'm going to go for but I've used some of this gold sticky paper that I got from home bargains in this roll then I've got some more of this wrapping paper that I'm I'm going to stick on top and then I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna write like March or something I don't really know what I'm gonna obviously I need to write March but I don't know if I'm gonna stick another piece of white down and then trace some writing but obviously this looks pretty cool actually I really like this I actually wrote it out in the stickers obviously for the longer months I'm gonna have to do it in a really smart way but I feel like this is a really good way to keep it neat without having to like draw all over it so obviously the front says my journal and now this page is just gonna go straight Straight into March and I will write a little introduction to myself here saying I skipped a few months and then I'm going to try and put some photos on this page of my January and my February. Other than that we're going to go straight into March and I really want to stick photos down. I'm going to order some more photos but I really want to stick some down. I just don't really know where so I might be able to create like a little flip book or something here but this is what it looks like so far. I'm not going to do anything else to this title page. I think I'm just going to leave it like that until I know what else I want to put on it then I can put some like memorabilia or something like that from March but now we're going to go in with planning my month this is how I've decided to do it I was just copying the calendar off of my phone so what I've done is I have done five by seven grid down here these are four centimeters each and then along the boxes of 3.5 so they're 3.5 by four each then I'm going to write Monday Tuesday Wednesday along here and then obviously March the 1st began on a Thursday so we'll start first second 
third, fourth, and so along. And then along here, I think I'm just going to go do some goals lists. I could have made this bigger, but I didn't want to risk it. So that's what it looks like so far. And I feel like I'm going to prefer this just having my calendar on one page instead of having it so spread out like I did with the February one. This is what it looks like. I'm now just going to fill in what I know I'm doing this month so far and video ideas and everything like that. Then I've got my goals here and then I will move on to the next page. Or actually, you know, before I fill it in, I'll do the next page, like the outline and stuff. So we need to do like, I think I'm going to do an expense tracker because I literally do need to watch how much money I spend because I'm so bad for spending money and then I think I'm going to do a bit of a health tracker so I know that I actually eat fruit at least once every single day. Okay I've now done the next page and I've done a health tracker here so what I said is I have to eat at least one piece of fruit a day and then I'm going to put a little heart in the box when I've done that and then I've also drew out 20 glasses of water which I'm going to fill in. Obviously that's not enough for the whole month so I'm going to start this in a few days but I have to have a few litres of water a day and then when I've done that I'll fill in the cup. Then down here I've done myself an expense tracker so there is a few things that I need to add in like I'm literally going to add in everything but I'm going to make sure I don't fill this up within a month so this is going to include travel, train tickets, food, clothes, everything that I buy is going to be tracked on here. This is basically my main layout. I'm only doing two pages every single month. I'll obviously change them up but this is what I want to do and then this page is going to be for pictures here and then that page as well then we'll start on April here but I don't really know how to decorate it I don't know whether to leave it in black or add some colour to it I don't really know so I'm going to google some ideas and fill this in and then I can show you guys what I decided to do guys I'm watching this lovely girl's live and I'm in her live but she knows she doesn't believe that I'm here someone's tricking me someone's tricking me someone's tricking me someone's tricking me <laughs> oh my god, she's literally in tears. Hayley, you are the cutest person ever. I love you oh god, so I'm much. Now Sophie has joined the guest live and all of mine and Sass fan accounts are on here and it's so cute. So honestly guys, thank you so much for the support. Honestly, I'm going to go live tomorrow night and I'm going to guess them. I literally love these girls so much. So I was just sat on Hayley and Sophie's live for an hour and it was the cutest thing ever. I put it on my Instagram story so loads of other accounts would go over and I swear to God, those girls are the nicest girls ever. And basically, they're all going to the big beauty day out so I'm planning on meeting them all there and I'm so excited so also if you haven't got your tickets for big beauty day out make sure you get your tickets because i'm doing a meetup there i'm going to be walking around i'm going to be meeting loads of you it's going to be so much fun so right now i've got half an hour until the survival of the fittest final do you hear me screaming i'm so excited for this i don't know if it's like an hour long episode or if it's going to be longer than an hour i'm really hoping it's going to be longer than an hour so that's what i'm looking forward to right now other than that i've just sat and filled in my bullet journal i haven't actually decorated it yet because i don't know how i want to decorate it so i'll probably do that tomorrow or something and when i come up with an idea then i'll show you how i decided to do it but that is an update on that i literally could not be happier right now because because the girls just won Survivor of the Fittest and when they won it I had a little bit of a scream to myself I wish I filmed my live reaction but I looked a bit uh, so we're just gonna leave that but I was so happy I fully thought when they announced the times that the boys had won because of the way they edited it but the editors are clever you know they they made it look like the boys won I'm so happy for the girls proud to be a girl I'm so sad though that it's over and that I'm gonna have to wait a year although Love Island will be coming on soon but anyway I'm just so happy now so that's pretty much what I'm gonna end my vlog on a really good note the fact that the girls won I'm really sorry if you're not caught up with it but um the girls won other than that thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m for a brand new vlog bye p.s I have a main channel video going up at 10 a.m tomorrow